Hey squids! While playing Splatoon, how many of you guys have experienced teleporting squids? How about squids that just won't die? Or maybe you have flat out disconnected from a match. You may have thought, I have good internet, why is this happening? Don't worry, I feel your pain. This is quite common for Splooners and other gamers out there. Besides internet speed, there are a couple factors that can contribute to lag, so I'll give you a few tips to help mitigate some of that lag. Keep in mind that this isn't a total fix, though it can prove useful to some of you. Now, I won't go into all the technical details of each solution, but I'll have the links to the more detailed resources in the description below. Just think of this as a checklist of tips you can try if you are having connection issues. This may not come as a surprise, but internet speed and ping are big factors. You may have run speed tests on your computer, and it seems fine. But one thing to note is that those general speed tests are not showing you specifically what your Wii U is getting. Your internet is being allocated to many different devices in your home, and those devices will experience a difference in speed. To run a speed test on your Wii U, you can open the internet browser and go to testmy.net. If you're running internet wirelessly, you can experience much less than your optimal connection from your internet provider. There's an annoying latency that comes with using routers. Your router will experience latency spikes from having to buffer too much data. This is called buffer bloating, which can be the likely cause of teleporting squids, and those times when it takes 20 shots to kill. The better your connection is, the worse buffer bloating can be, because your router is constantly trying to make improvements, which results in interrupting your connection, ironically enough. Of course, the default for a Wii U is connecting wirelessly, but a relatively inexpensive way to improve your Wii U's connection is by getting a LAN adapter. This way, you can connect directly to your modem, which will stabilize your connection. For those of you who can't connect directly to your modem and instead must use a router, port forwarding is a good option. The purpose of it is to create a static IP address for your Wii U, and it blocks any unwanted network traffic, which may be the cause of those annoying disconnects. Another option is to create that static IP address, but instead, you can put that IP address assigned to your Wii U in your router's DMZ. This bypasses your router's firewalls, and essentially opens your port like port forwarding does, as all ports in this zone are exposed. Lastly, on connection tips. Your Wii U has a set maximum transmission unit, MTU, but this number should be different depending on your connection type. It's usually preset to 1400, but if you have cable internet, then try setting it to 1500, and for DSL, try 1492. This may also improve internet connection issues. Okay, so let's say you have great internet speeds and you've set up everything, but it still seems like something isn't quite right. Like, why is that ink zooka hitting me when I've clearly moved far away enough? You might be thinking, I'm good. I've got this blinged out internet and I'm on my 60 inch ultra high def 3D 240Hz motion smoothing cinema mode with all the bells and whistles cranked up to the max. <sighs> well, actually, that could be the source of display slash input lag. These new TVs have all these features that make movies look good, but they slow down the screen's ability to keep up with a game. All these motion smoothing features should be turned off, and if your TV has it, you should switch on game mode, which optimizes your TV for games. The picture may not be as smooth, but you won't experience the latency that these features create. I'll have a website below that shows the display lag for various TV models. Sometimes I really do miss those old hunkin CRT TVs, since they actually had the least amount of display lag. Yep, no squidden. Smaller monitors work better for response time and I also find them easier to maintain awareness during matches. One last thing to point out is that making sure to use your TV's HDMI ports that were specifically intended for game consoles can help to improve response time. This will be different for many models, so take another look to see if everything is set up right back there, and don't be afraid to consult your TV's manual if you are unsure what some of those ports are. I hope these tips help some of you squids. Let us know any other tips you have come across. Also, a big thanks to our SK teammate Atomic, who suggested and worked with us on this video. And I can't forget you squids that kindly donated footage for this video. All their links, as well as what we covered, will be down below. Stay fresh!